If you're really interested in video editing, I think it's worth putting in the time and learning some serious software like Adobe Premiere. But maybe you don't wanna go that deep. Maybe you're looking to make very quick videos and you wanna learn how to use software in just a few minutes. That's what we're going to be doing today. Now, ACDC is a software company kind of like Adobe and they make replacement software for many of the expensive, very complex programs that Adobe makes, like Photoshop, Lightroom, or Premiere. And the Premiere replacement that they make is ACDC Video Studio 4. They have sponsored this video and asked me to create a very quick tutorial video on how to use this video software. They're very transparent in saying that this does not have as many features as Adobe Premiere, but for the majority of people, they just need to make very quick, simple videos. This is much easier to deal with and it's also way more affordable. Let me give you a quick run through of how the software works. Now, this is what the program looks like when you open it up, and I'm going to click on Import Media here. The first thing that I'm going to do is open up these two video clips that we filmed of Alaya a couple years ago, and I'm going to hit Open. I am just going to highlight both of these and drag them into our timeline. Now, we're gonna get a warning here that says the resolution of your media does not match the current project settings. That's because the current project when we open the software is a 1080 canvas and we have 4K video footage here. So it says, do you want to change the project settings to match your media? I'm just going to hit yes. So you can see everything just works right off the bat. If I slide this timeline around, it's going to scrub through this footage. Up here at the very top, you can see that our canvas size is 3840 by 2160. That's 4K footage. To zoom in and out on the timeline, we can use this little slider here, or we can click on either one of these to zoom in or out. As you can see, I have two interview clips here. Now, interview two over here is the exact same interview. It's the exact same clip. It's just shot from a different angle. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to sync both of these clips up so that I can cut back and forth from camera A and camera B. Now, right now, both of these clips are on the exact same track. I'm going to grab the second one and move it on top of the first one here. So if I put both of these clips on top of each other and line them up when we started the video clip and I hit play back here, let's listen. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So obviously we are completely out of sync here. And these little waveforms are showing what the audio is. And you can see these little spikes. These are actually when Elias is clapping. We're going to use that to synchronize both of these clips. So I can get this close and zoom all the way in. And that's where we want it. Let's listen back now. Three, two, one. So right now both video clips are synced up, but we have audio playing from both of these video tracks. That's really not good practice. You really only want audio from one mic at a time. Otherwise it may not sound perfect. So what I'm gonna do is right click on this bottom one down here and I'm going to go to edit audio. You can see that it creates this line and I could just drag this line down. So right now there's no audio playing back with that bottom video clip, but in the top track up there, we have both audio and video playing. Ow. So I can scrub through this footage and find where there's audio and I know that Elias is going to start talking right over here. So I can hit play. My name is Eli Locardi, and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world. So let's say I want to make a cut right here before Elias starts talking. I could highlight this clip and hold shift and highlight the next clip. And then I can hit this button right here for split. And as you can see, this is going to create new tracks. If I want to highlight both of these and then hit the delete key. Now I have this new track over here that's edited on the left. Let's hit play again. My name is Eli Locardi, and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world full time, seeking out the most beautiful destinations on the planet. So let's say that I want to cut from one camera to the other while Elia is talking here. What I could do is click on this bottom track down here, and I could click this split tool, and then I could move one of these cameras above the other. So let's watch this now. My name is Eli Locardi, and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world full time, seeking out the most beautiful destinations on the planet. Okay, so now we're cutting from one camera to the other. Keep in mind, this is working on a layer system, just like any other program that you're used to, like Photoshop. So if it's on top, that's what you're gonna be seeing. And if you wanna reveal what's below, you have to move it down. Okay, let's say we want to add some effect. We want to add a transition. If I click on transitions over here, 
Let's say I want to fade from one camera to the other. All I have to do is grab this effect and drag it over to the top of this clip here. And now it's going to fade from the first camera to the second. My name is Eli Locardi, and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world full time, seeking out the most beautiful destinations on the planet. Now, I don't think that's really an effect that I would use in that case, but that's how you do it. Now, if you don't like the effect, you can just click on it and hit delete. I'm gonna undo that and just show you guys too that everything that you're adding to these clips is also showing up under the properties tab on the upper right. So if I click on it, you can see that it's showing the transition here and you can change the different types of transition or you can hit the X button to delete it that way too. Now, let's say you wanted to add an effect on the video itself. We could click down here on filters and let's go to exposure and I'm just gonna drag this to this top clip down here. And you can see I could add a little bit of contrast here. Maybe I wanna come back and add the vibrance effect here. Let's add some vibrance to get those colors popping. That is pretty easy. Now let's say we want to add some music. I'm gonna go back up here to media and hit the plus button here. And I'm gonna go back to my music folder and let's add some music. This is a... Uh, premium beat song here. If you run out of space, all you have to do is grab this timeline and drag it up like this. It'll give you a little bit more room to work here. So if you look at the waveform of the audio, you can tell that the beat drops right around here. Let's listen to it. So let's say that we want the beat to hit right after Elias says who he is. What I can do here, if I zoom in, and I can cut right before the beat here. And for now, I'm just going to delete the beginning of the song. I'm gonna zoom back out so that I can see. And then let's move this over here. Now, this track on the bottom here is too long. So let's watch this back. The most beautiful destinations on the planet. It, it awkwardly cuts back to Aliyah. All you have to do if you want to lengthen a clip or shorten it. We could cut it and delete, or you can just grab the end of it and slide it in like that. So let's watch this. Destinations on the planet. Great. So what I'm gonna do now is just grab our audio and I'm gonna pull that back over here like this. My name is Eli Locardi and for the past seven years, I've been traveling now, it's pretty obvious that our music is too loud and Elias' voice is a little soft. So what we can do is right click on the clip with audio, edit audio, and then I can raise the audio a little bit and it'll show you right before it clips. Right here, you can see that it's about to clip. So I'm gonna stop it right there. And then I'm gonna right click on this and I am going to add audio point. And what we can do is we can ramp up this audio here. I'm gonna start at like, 30% and then I'm going to add another point and we're going to put that right here and then I'm going to add another point over here and this is where I'm going to have the audio go up to 100%. Let's watch this. My name is Eli Locardi, and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world full time, seeking out the most beautiful destinations on the planet. So you can see the music ramps up right when Elia finishes speaking. And then let's just grab a couple more clips that we can drop on top here. Here's a cool time lapse, and I'm just gonna drop this right on top here. So one thing that you'll notice with this time lapse is that the aspect ratio is not 16 by nine. We have these black bars over here. So what we can do is we can grab the edges here and slide this out to fit our frame a little bit better. So let's watch this. Destinations on the planet. Now let's say that this time lapse is a little slow. We wanna speed it up. We could go to advanced effects and clip speed. And I'm just gonna drag this to our time lapse here. And if I click over here and come over to our properties panel, you can see the speed is at one. I could set this to two. And what it's going to do is double the speed. So let's watch this. Planet. I think that looks a lot better. Now I'm gonna go to media. I'm going to add a drone clip here. Just 
just gonna drag this on our timeline here. I'm gonna scrub through and try to find a cool spot. And remember, we can use this split tool here, or I could simply drag this over to shorten it. Watch it. I think that looks good, and I could drag this over here. Now, I can't currently see more tracks on top. I could stretch this window to see more, or I could use this bar right here. Maybe I'll put this drone clip first, so it'll show that, and then the time lapse. ...on the planet. And let's go grab one more clip here. I think this drone clip could be cool. So once again, I'm just gonna scrub around until I find a good place to cut and I'm just gonna slide this over and I'll hit play. I think that looks good and I'll slide this over. And then let's put this maybe right around here. So let's go ahead and cut this audio down here using the split tool here. I'm gonna click over here and delete. And then I'm just gonna drag this and butt it up to this. Now, if I slide back down here, let's add another audio point here. And we'll also add one to the end. And at the end, I'm just gonna bring that to zero. And let's listen to this. And I think that's a little slow, so I'm just gonna lengthen it like this. And it's still a little slow, so I'm gonna bring this back like that. So now if I wanna fade out on this last shot here, I can click on transitions and we can go to fade and I'm gonna click on the last drone clip here. Let's watch this. And what it's doing, you can see right here, we can see below it a little bit. So all I'm gonna do is drag this time lapse back so that it doesn't show that. I think that looks good. We can even lengthen it a little bit if we wanted to. So let's watch this. Looks great. Now at this point, I like moving everything to the left side of the timeline just to keep it nice and neat. I'm going to hit Control A to select all, and then I'm just gonna drag all of this to the left side. Now to export the video, I'm just going to go to produce and share up in the upper right hand corner. And you can see you can immediately share it on YouTube or Vimeo. I'm not going to do that right now. I am going to set the output format as MP4, video frame size 3840 by 2160. We could go to detail settings if we want to. I know that I shot this in 24 frames per second, so I'm going to leave it like that. Click OK, next. I'm gonna save this file on the desktop and we will just call this video. And as you can see right now, it's rendering. And in just a few seconds, our video will be done. All right, so just finished the video. Let's watch this back. My name is Eli Locardi and for the past seven years, I've been traveling the world full time, seeking out the most beautiful destinations on the planet. Now, is this software a replacement for Adobe Premiere? Absolutely not. I'm not gonna switch over this software. I already know how to use Adobe Premiere. I'm already spending 80 bucks a month for the Adobe Suite or whatever. So I don't think I'm gonna be moving over. But if you're the type of person who just watched this video and says, well, what more could you need to do? That, that seems like everything I need to do. Video Studio 4 could be for you. I, I have to admit, guys, this is some of the most intuitive video editing software I have ever used. Anything that you're a little unsure of, you don't really know how it works, you can just go to these effects on the left-hand panel and drag them onto a clip and just see what it does. Oh, I see, it adds blur. If I wanna add blur, I can do this, or I can lower the blur, or I can delete the blur effect. If I wanna add the white balance effect to this and I wanna change the temperature of my video clip, oh, okay, really, really simple. I must admit, it's way more simple than Adobe Premiere.
Now, when we talk about price, things get even better. This software only costs 80 bucks for a lifetime license. If you wanna use Adobe Premiere, you're gonna spend $21 per month forever to use the software. And if you wanna use any of their other programs, you're gonna spend 50 or 80 bucks a month. I think we're spending 80 bucks a month for multiple computers at F-Stoppers. So it's incredibly expensive for us. Now, at this point, we're kind of stuck in the Adobe ecosystem, but if you're not, and you're looking for a simpler, cheaper solution, definitely check out this software and other software by ACDC. As you can see, for just $8.90 per month, you can get access to all of their software. And if you're not a power user like us, it may be all you need. But the best part about the software is it is 100% free to try. So don't spend any money today. Just download the software 100% for free. Give it a try. See if you can make your own video. It's really, really simple. And then if you like it, you can buy it. For more free content just like this, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you are interested in going deeper and learning about Adobe Premiere and maybe video production in general, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. You can see all of the tutorials that we've made on both photo and video and check out that intro to Adobe Premiere tutorial as well.